am very pleased to tell you that I'm interviewing Dion Mayer, who's a famous South African crime writer. And we've come to the small village of Bremo, all the way in, well, one and a half hours outside of Amsterdam. So we had a very early start this morning. Uh, Dion Mayer is, uh, well, as I said, he's a very famous crime writer. Uh, he's an easy read, um, and a lot of his books are set in Cape Town, which is where I'm from. So I'd like to introduce you. This is Dion. Thank you Hi. for the interview. Please Thank tell our, our Globe members uh, about yourself and your books. And uh... Well, I uh, live in South Africa. I'm in Stellenbosch, uh, and I, I write mostly suspense fiction. Yes. Yes, and they're set in Cape Town, aren't they? Well, I, quite well, a few not of them all are. of them, but, no, but most but, of them are, yes. Yeah. And where do you get your data collection from? What sort of data are you referring to? Well, your research. Where do you get your well, research from? I, I need it, you know. I mean, my research is very varied, so, so I will have personal interviews with people. I will do a lot of reading. I, uh, I use the internet uh, when I absolutely have to. Yeah. Uh, so wherever I can find my facts. Yeah. And you write full time because you started in 2009, didn't you? Uh, 2008, 2009. Nine, yeah. You started writing full time. Yeah, and how did that all happen? Did you just get a break or something? Or? Well, I, I was very lucky in that my uh, my second Afrikaans novel was uh, sent to my agent Isabel Dixon by a wonderful man in uh, in Cape Town, a former head of a publisher, um, and she accepted me as a client, and she started selling uh, my work to publishers internationally. Oh, wow. Okay. And where is your biggest uh, uh, readership? Does it come from? It's probably France, France and Germany. Isn't the Netherlands is, is now also big. really big. Uh, yeah. um, South Africa is doing very well. The UK, yeah. uh, the USA. Yeah. Uh, those, I think, are the, yeah. basically the biggest market. And what motivates you to write about crime? I mean, being South African, is that so... <laughs> I never thought in terms of, I mean, only about half my novels are true crime novels, so um, I, you know, I, I don't really think in terms of genre when I write, I want to tell a story. It was after, I think, my second or third book that reviewers started referring to me as a crime author, and I said, well, that's fine. That's how it develops. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I, I still don't think in terms of I have to write crime fiction. Yeah. Uh, I mean, my new book, uh, Fever, uh, is not a crime novel. And that's um, just come out in the 30th of just May. It's just come out, out. Yeah. yeah. And that's not about crime. No, it's not about crime. It's a, well, I mean, there is a there it's is a, a murder mystery uh, yeah. in it, but it is a much more speculative fiction. It is set in a in a world that is decimated by the fever. It's about a a, a father, um, Willem Storm, who wants to start a new community. But it's really the coming of age story of his son Mika. Okay. Yeah. Well, that is different. Yeah. Very different. And tell me about your writing day. Do you sit uh, every day? Do you, are you very disciplined? Do you have is there any tips? I, yeah, you have to write every day yeah, if you're yeah, a writer. Yeah. Uh, when I'm home, when I'm not book touring, then uh, I write every day from about 5 o'clock in the morning uh, until whenever I'm, I'm done for the day. Uh, usually in the beginning of the book, that's around about lunchtime. Yeah. And towards the end of the book, that's around about 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock at night. Uh, but yes, I, I do. You write, write every day. day. Yeah. And you have a favorite place that you sit at? Uh, well, I don't have a favorite place. I have a place. I mean, yeah. I, have a, I have a little writing room um, uh, where yeah. I close all the shutters and yeah. uh, switch off all the lights uh, to have as few distractions as possible. And do you have any tips for our uh, self-published authors, our budding writers? Is there anything that you well, would... Well, the uh, first, my, my, f my biggest tip would be try not to self-publish because I think the self-publishing route is extremely difficult. Uh, send your manuscript to a recognized uh, uh, publisher and get the feedback. I mean, when I sent my first manuscript off, I said, even if you don't like it, tell me what's wrong so that I can learn. Yes. Uh, because writing is a lifelong learning experience, and we can only learn by getting feedback from people who really know what, they, what, what they're, they're talking, talking about. about. Um, so really try that and, and you know, get the feedback if your first uh, manuscript is not accepted then look at the feedback and rewrite or write something new or something different and, and learn from the process. I think the most important advice you can give to, to any aspiring writer is to read as much as you can. Yes. Read all the best yes. in the world yes. and by osmosis you will learn more about writing than in any other yes. way. Yes. Uh, a lot of people also, I think, make the mistake of writing stuff that they never see on bookshelves. Yes. Uh, Go into a bookshop and see what is there and see what is selling well. Because if you write something that's completely different, especially the kind of thing of your own life story, 
ask yourself why do I why don't I see other books like that on the shelf? Uh, I think those are the key the indicators. Pointers, yeah. yeah, yeah, good. Well, I'm glad that you um, you've given me the time to to interview you. Thank You're you. Most welcome. Thank you very much. So thank you for listening to our very brief interview, and uh, we'll see you next on the next interview that will be coming up in about two weeks' time. All right. Bye.